yes. What a nice, lovely day. We're making mugs today, right, Beth? Yeah, we're gonna put custom designs on little enamel mugs. Yeah, we never really made a how-to video before, but it should be fun, right? Yeah, let's do it. So first you're gonna need a mug, obviously. You're gonna need some paint, sandpaper, painter's tape, some vinyl, your stencil, a little sponge, cotton ball, rubbing alcohol, scissors, tweezers, and some sort of knife. Yep, some sort of exacto knife. So those are all the materials you're gonna need. There's a bunch of different types of paints you can use. Yeah, we've tried all three of these. This is the most expensive, but it also works the best. Exactly, so when you're getting your vinyl, obviously we cut a little piece out of it. You can get it at any craft store. You wanna make sure it's the type that you can remove. Yeah, this is basically this just like is... a sticker sheet that you cut out and then it becomes a sticker. Yeah, and then for your stencil, you're gonna want to create on your computer whatever design you want um, on the cup and then print it out the size that you actually want it to be yep. on the cup. Okay, so first off, you need to prepare the cup. That's why I have the rubbing alcohol. We're gonna use that with the cotton ball to just clean the surface, make sure there's no oil or nastiness. Next, we're going to take the vinyl and stick it on there um, right where we want our design to be. And now we're going to um, tape our design right over that. Now we're gonna start cutting. Okay, now that we have the cup cleaned and everything situated, we can go ahead and start cutting. You just wanna make sure that you're cutting through the paper and the vinyl. The enamel on the mug, it holds up real well against the, the blade, so you don't need to worry about like cutting through the enamel or anything like that. Um, also, pro tip, start at like all the like the little creases and the tiny like angles um, before doing the long edges. It'll just make your life so much simpler. Okay, now that you have it all cut out, take it all apart. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our little tweezers to pull out the parts of the stencil that we actually want to paint in. Now it's really important that you don't take the wrong parts out. Before we start painting, we're going to just get a tiny piece of sandpaper. This is 400 grit sandpaper. So I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit with some sandpaper. This is gonna help the paint stick once it dries. So now that we've sanded it, um, we're going to pour a little bit of paint out. We'll just sponge it a little bit. Then next you're gonna take your gift card and then scrape all the extra paint off. You want it to look nice and smooth, just like that. We've got our paint on, I took off the extra tape, and now you can see the paint is still a little bit wet. Before it completely dries, we gotta start taking off um, all these, all the vinyl. I'm gonna start with the inside letters and then just go very carefully, because if you mess it up, you're gonna have to start all over again. dries real fast and we didn't pull the stencil off fast enough so we we're starting over cleaning it off you got to be careful and not rush it but at the same time you got to go pretty fast so we made one already yeah after like nine tries we finally ended up with one good one um, and now we're after, this is our second try on this one Ooh. This is the scariest thing I've ever done. It's very stressful, but it's working. I imagine this is what it's like giving like open heart surgery to someone. So look, we almost have done it perfectly. Not really. So now you take, can take your X-Acto knife um, and scrape off very carefully any places that the paint might need touching up. So once you've let it dry for 24 hours, um, you're gonna stick it in your oven, let it rise to temperature in the oven. And heat it up to 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna turn the oven off and let the cup cool down inside the oven. Then we can take it out and we're done. Some schmutz in your cup. That's a 
gross. <laughs> oh, I almost died. <laughs> Hope you could follow along with our all the things. All of our, our craziness. Let us know if you if you end up making it. Um, and any tips you learn from your own journey. But for real though, let us know if you have any questions. Let us know if you followed along and sent us pictures of whatever mugs you make. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Okay? Oh yeah, that too. Subscribe. Subscribe, dude. Pound that subscribe button. Is it a button? There's too much, I don't understand. Hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, <laughs> and leave a like on this video and a comment, dude. Man, where's Michael? <laughs> Michael needs to be here.